Hello everyone, I'm Phil Yeager, and obviously I'm with Yeager CPA Review. And I hope you've had a good day, and if you are just starting the day, I hope you will have a good day. Now, you're probably saying, why am I here? Well, let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm going to try to tell you how to study with the Yeager CPA Review course. Now, you've ordered our course either one of three ways. One, USB or DVDs or online. No matter which method you've actually uh, ordered the product, it's the same product. Now, you'll open up the box and you say to yourself, if you got the DVDs, all right, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to say to yourself, Jaeger CPA Review is a teaching course. And if it's a teaching course, I'm going to treat it just like I am going to a class except that Jaeger CPA Review is going to bring the class to you. So what you'll do is this. Let's assume you have DVDs. I'm just taking that as an example. You put in the first DVD in your DVD player and we'll start off and obviously the person will introduce themselves and tell you what subject they're going to cover today and what they're going to go over. And what you'll do is you'll take out your Wiley book because that's our textbook and also a lot of the chapters we have what we call instructor created handouts which actually are used to make the chapter easier to understand. Now we don't have obviously handouts for every chapter but if we feel that we can come up with a handout which will make that chapter easy to understand we've created that handout. So you start the thing up all right I'm Phil Yeager welcome to Yeager CPA Review and today we're going to cover let's assume it's financial accounting stockholders equity and I say, let's turn to page so-and-so, and we're going to use the Wiley book today. We're going to use my handout, and then we're going to start lecturing on the concepts. Now, the exam, all right, the ASCPA expects you to understand the concepts, because even though you hear all the time, practice with old questions, practice with old questions, that's, that's fine. Good idea, practice with old questions. However, you must understand the concepts. Because if you don't understand the concepts and you're just doing old questions, eventually you're just going to memorize what the answer is. But if you don't understand how you get to the answer, then forget about passing. And also, all right, they could take the question and just by changing a word, it would change what the answer will be. And that's what we do. When we're going over questions, all right, we try to change them a little, all right, and say, let's assume they all right, did this. It would change the answer. So let me just go back again. We start lecturing. We lecture on a concept. And then we go to the back of the Wiley book where there are multiple choice questions and simulations. And we pick a few questions to illustrate that concept. And what we do is we explain the question to you. We explain, obviously, the answer. And also, we use a board. We use this board. All right. So it's visual. You can see how it's done. Now, after you do the question, and by the way, you could do one of two things. You could actually, all right, read the question on your own, put the uh, video on pause, and try to do the question on your own, or you could keep the video running and just go through either, whether it's myself or Cindy Simpson or someone else, and just work with us as we go through the question on the board. Either way. Now, the next thing you'll do is we'll say, all right, let's go back to the book and go to page so-and-so. And we'll keep doing this. So what we're doing is we're lecturing from the book. We do a couple of questions to illustrate the points. We lecture from the books. We do a few questions to illustrate the points. And then after we finish a module, those are the chapters, then what we'll do is we'll go over a simulation, a task-based simulation. Those are the larger problems. And we'll try to pick one or two just to show you how they would actually look. Now, the problem is that the AICPA does not release the task-based simulations. So what the authors, just like Wiley or any other company have done, is they've taken some of the old questions from the old paper and pencil exam and actually tried to adapt them as though they were task-based simulations. Right? So you say to yourself, wait a minute, if they're not going to look like the ones that are going to take at the exam, Right? Why should I do them? And the answer is, all right, it's just practicing more information. Also, 
after you finish a module, one of the things we give you is the Wiley Online Test Bank. And we tell you, all right, I want you to go to the module. Everything is tied in together, you know, all right, because we use only Wiley products. So the Wiley module number in the book will tie into the Wiley module number on the test bank. And we'll tell you, also, go to the Wiley test bank, and there's two modes, study mode and exam mode. Now, I'm going to tell you, don't worry about exam mode. I don't want you to do exam mode, all right? I want you to do study mode, and I want you to go over the questions for that module, all right, on the study mode, and make sure you understand it. Now, don't get all hung up on, well, I got to get 60% right, 70% right. That's not important right now, all right? Just go over those. And also, one other thing. At the back of your handout, you will have a list of questions, all right, to do from the book. And those questions will basically be the ones that we covered while we were doing the class. And also, it'll be additional questions that we picked from the book that we feel are good questions to go over. Now, we're not going to actually pick every question in the back of the book for you to do because some of those questions, based on our experience, they probably will not test you on that concept. And I can say that we're probably about 98% correct as far as what material they will test you on. So we stay away from the questions in the back of the Wiley book right, for areas that we don't feel there's any chance of them asking you that material. Now people say, how do you know all right, what areas they're going to test? And the answer is, after being in this business for so many years, you get a gut feeling as far as what you know they're going to test and probably what they won't test. All right? It's just experience. And please don't take that the wrong way. All right? I've been doing this for a long time. So based on experience, I have a pretty good idea about what they're going to ask on the exam. Now, basically, at the end of the chapter also, when we finish going over the complete module on the video, all right, we're going to give you explicit directions what to do. So we're not just going to end the module on the video all right, and say, have a good day. All right? We're going to give you instructions upon what we want you to do. Namely, we'll say to you, Go over the questions we did. Go over the questions on the sheet in the back of the handout, the additional questions. And also, do the questions from the Wiley Test Bank. All right? And you'll do that for every module. And my microphone keeps falling off. All right? But anyway, you'll do that for every module. And basically, that's the way we do it for every subject. Now, you say to yourself, Phil, what happens if I, you know, I'm trying this out, I keep doing it, I can't understand it? Well, unlike other courses, we have what we call the instructor hotline. And there's only three of us teaching this course. So, if you have a question on a specific area, you look at who the person is who teaches that area. It's either going to be Phil Yeager, Cindy Simpson, or Gary Bomesh. And you will be able to talk to the person directly all right, and that person will explain to you, if you're having trouble, how to do that area. Also, the person, if you're having trouble understanding a specific area, the person will spend time with you. Now, we can deal with you as far as the questions one of two ways. One, you can email us the questions, all right, and some instructors like Cindy, they prefer to email back to you the answer. Now, Gary Bomesh and I prefer that you email your question to us, but then, we generally call you back on the phone and we'll ask you, all right, where you're located, what time zone, and if there's certain questions, we're going to ask you, please write down those question numbers so that when we call you back, we've looked at it beforehand, it saves a lot of time. And please feel that we're accessible. Use it. The other thing that we do is this, all right, during the year, by the way, people are concerned, is your course updated? Well, yeah, it's updated because we refilm the entire course every year. We refilm the entire live course, not the live course, I'm sorry, we don't do live courses. We, we refilm the entire all right, home study course, the full course. We also refilm our cram course. I'll explain to you in a second what that is. All right, so that, all right, when you start off the beginning of the year, that course is up to date and current, and assumed to be up to date and current for the remaining 12 months of the year. Now, what happens, though, if in July 1st of 2012, all right, they come out with a new pronouncement? 
right? What are you going to do, Jaeger CPA Review? Well, what we're going to do is, all right, we're going to tell you about that and explain it. And the way we do that is one of two ways. One, Phil Jaeger does a, I'd say every two to three weeks, a blog radio show called Let's Talk CPA Exam. And that is a radio show, but you can call in and ask questions. And during those radio shows, if there's any changes or we feel there are things that you should be aware of that have occurred since the date we filmed, all right, I will mention them to you in that blog radio show. All right? And if you can't listen to it at that specific time, it is archived. And then another thing we're going to have this year is, yes, we're going to have webcasts, just like you're looking at now except that our webcasts are going to be completely interactive live, which means that you can do one of two things. You can email your questions during that webcast, or you'll be able to call me, all right, and I can talk to you directly during the class, all right? I really would like to do that because I like to talk to people, all right? I like the interactivity. However, some people prefer that we have the internet, you know, email me, no problem. And also, with these webcasts and these radio shows, we have guests that come in, all right? Now, we don't bring in uh, Brad Pitt, all right? These are people dealing with the accounting area, all right? Last year, I brought in this gentleman on my radio show calling in from Los Angeles who deals with actually standardized exams. And he went over all right, with people, you know, people called in with questions, but his main area is after you've done financial accounting five times and you can't pass it, you do build up a fear against that part. And he explains to you how to get over those fears. And he did a live radio show where people called in. And actually, people then went to his website and they bought some of his products. Now, that wasn't the purpose of it, but surprisingly, I've spoken to those people and they said it's helped them tremendously with overcoming their fears. Now, if you finish studying the course, the entire course, you say to yourself, well, you know, I've forgotten some of the stuff I did in the beginning. What should I do? Should I go watch the whole course again? And the answer is no. What you should do, and yes, we do charge a fee for this, all right, but it's well worth it. You should buy our cram course. Our, quam, our cram course, <laughs> I had trouble spitting out. Our cram course is a review of all the concepts all over again. It's not a, just a short, all right, but it's shorter than the regular course. And by the way, based on experience, the cram course has added anywhere from five to ten points to your grade as though if you didn't take the exam, you would have had five or ten points less. Now, I'm not saying you need the cram to pass the exam. Some people don't buy the cram. All right? I just make it available. We make things available to you, and we recommend it. We don't recommend it just to try to get more money out of you. Now, what about the amount of hours I have to spend? Well, that's a good question, you know, and I, I, it's hard to answer that, but we use a rule of thumb, and we usually say, look, all right, take the number of hours, and you'll know the number of hours of video you have for each subject, and you multiply that by f four times, all right? And for example, all right, let's assume the financial accounting was 40 hours. I don't know how many hours it is, 40 hours, all right? You multiply that by four, you should spend 160 hours on that. And that includes watching the video, doing the questions, you name it, all right? Now, please remember, however, that's a rule of thumb. Just because you spend 160 hours, you say, hey, Phil said I should spend four hours for every hour of video. I'm ready to go in, all right? No, all right, first of all, just because you spend 160 hours doesn't mean you know it. It's not the quality, I'm sorry, it's not the quantity of the hours you put in, it's the what? Quality. So actually, people could spend less hours and still be ready sooner than people who spend more hours. But, once again, all right, if you're going along and you're studying and you reach a point, you say, Phil, oh my gosh, I I'm sort of lost here. I'm not sure if I'm on the right track. What do I do? Well, here's the advantage again. The instructor hotline. Pick up the phone, all right? And by the way, you'll get a phone number, all right? And you'll contact me and talk to me. I will put you back on track. 
Just because you acquire a course, all right, you receive that package, it does not mean, hey, nice knowing you and thanks for your money. That's not the way it works. Our relationship continues, all right, through the entire period when you're taking the exam and up to the date you finish and pass the exam. Now, of course, I love to hear from you afterwards, all right, but most people just completely forget about me, all right, and crush my, you know, I have feelings, you know, it would be nice to hear from you occasionally. But seriously, we stay with you during the whole process. And I honestly believe we're the only course that does two things. One, that teaches the concepts rather than just memorizing and doing old questions. And two, gives the personal service that no other course can give. Because my function is to give service. My function is not to be out there all the time and just market the course, all right? That may be what other people do, but, all right, my marketing comes from you passing the exam and our referrals come from our students, the students who pass the exam, all right? I'm not going to go spend time and just keep marketing and marketing and marketing and forget the students who are taking our course. That would be really unfair. My function and the function of our instructors is to give you the time to get through this exam. It's not an easy exam, all right, but it's passable. It really is passable if you put in the time and you also do what we tell you. So I think I've covered basically the areas, all right, that should help you as far as studying. But once again, once you buy our course, if you still feel you need to talk to me, all right, pick up that phone. You'll get a phone number and we will talk and we'll get you into it, all right? If you're discouraged at any point, you know, Phil Yeager, yes, I have a doctorate, all right? A lot of people say, oh, Dr. Phil, all right? Well, in a way, I just say, call me Phil. But, you know, in a way, I'm like Dr. Phil. I have to act as a teacher and a psychologist because during the experience, a lot of times people get discouraged. But I'll tell you, if they're discouraged, when they call me, Right? I will not let them off that phone until they feel better and they're ready to continue on. I will never let anybody quit, no matter what. Right? Don't ever quit. Getting a CPA will make a big difference in your career. I promise you. All right? If you say to yourself after taking it, all right, God forbid you just don't pass, you don't quit. You pick up and you just go back and do it again. And don't forget the order. That's very important, all right? And I'm not going to go and elaborate on this. Just accept it for right now. Financial accounting first, auditing second, regulation third, and BEC. And by the way, study for one part at a time, all right? A lot of times when you're studying for two parts at the same time, there's so much information going through your head, you confuse yourself. This is not a race. Taking a few more months to pass is not going to hurt you. In the scheme of your entire life, it's an immaterial amount of time. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hey, I hope you've enjoyed listening to me, all right? Uh, I know it may not be the most stimulating conversation you've had in life, but, you know, I really care about our students. And no matter how long I do this, I will always care because I really want people to pass the exam. So anyway, this is Phil Yeager of Yeager CPA Review. We hope you'll take a look at our course, all right, if you have not purchased it, and look at our demos, and if you have purchased it, feel free anytime to get in touch with me. Take care, and good luck with your studying on the CPA exam.